blues version, a rock version, a rap version, a punk version, a gospel version, a polka version, a heavy metal version, a rap version, a Tejano version, a handbell choir version, a children's choir version, and for the live DVD, we're going to do something with uh, sign language, because uh, I just won't translate on the audio CD as well. It'll seem like a hidden track. Uh, but I got really lucky early on. I was talking with my friend Raul here, and uh, I got really lucky early on in my career. Uh, about uh, 1996, I had, uh, uh, let me back up. I was living in Missoula, Montana with my friend Anna Moss right over here. She was um, three years old, <laughs> and I like to say we went to school together, uh, but I was in college and she was in preschool, so uh, there was a little bit of a gap there. Uh, but she was there, um, she used to get up and sing this song with me uh, before her common sense kicked in and she realized what a fruitless, futile future there was in live music. <laughs> I don't think that was it. So anyway, um, long story longer, uh, I moved from Missoula, Montana, back down to Amarillo, Texas to nanny for my sister. I started playing in a band there called The Groovies. And uh, we put out four records. We had Lloyd Maines produce uh, all of the records. And Lloyd Maines, of course, is Natalie Maines' dad. And uh, I think as part dad and part producer, he handed this song to her. And they started singing it in their live sets. And uh, then when they got signed on to Sony Records, um, then they were looking for songs to put on their record. And this was one that they brought with them. And as we were talking earlier, uh, man, it's it was been so fun to follow this song around and wave it on my business card and all that kind of stuff I'm so proud of the Dixie Chicks proud of everything they've done and uh, I just uh, it, it, This song would not have uh, have done what it did if it weren't for those girls because they they deliver it so genuinely and sincerely And I'm so thankful. Yes, I am. I'm a big Dixie Chicks fan. You can imagine So anyway, uh, this is a if you haven't seen me play before this is your one chance to sing along uh, unless during the set break uh, you come up and buy all the records and then listen to them in your car real quick and then come back for the second set and then you can sing with me on those. Uh, but anyway, uh, I love it when you sing this one. It, it reminds me how neat it is. Jana Pokop over here gave me this CD and it was a copy of the Dixie Chicks singing Wide Open Spaces with James Taylor and I'm a big James Taylor fan so of course my first impulse was to call my parents and bask in the glow of their love 
I call my mom and dad, and my dad answers the phone, you know? I'm like, Dad, you'll never guess what I'm listening to right now. He said, what's that? I said, I'm listening to the Dixie Chicks sing Wide Open Spaces with James freaking Taylor. Yeah. Awkward silence. That's when I realized my dad doesn't know who James Taylor is. I was like, you got to be kidding me, Dad. You don't know who James Taylor is? He said, no, I know who James Taylor is. He's that football player. I said, Dad, James Taylor is not a football player. He said, well, not anymore. He's retired. I said, I love you, Dad. Will you have Mom call me when she gets back? Yes. As she packs her things, she feels she left something out. Her friends, her family, her dog in this house. She turns around to find her old room there. Looks at the U-Haul. the oil. Mom stares out the window. She says, I'm leaving my girl. She said it did not seem like that long ago. When she stood there and watched her own folks go, go, she needed wide open spaces. Room to make her big mistake. to that song, but in order to hear it, you're gonna have to come see Rachel Laven play on September 17th. 17th, September 17th. I'm so thankful that y'all are doing this uh, music series down here. This is great. Thank you so much for inviting all your friends down here uh, for this. I'm so glad to see you. How are you guys doing? Do you need a break?